Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And this is DIY for Homeowners by Mother Daughter Projects. Today we have three segments for you. We have a closer look, a fast DIY, and a field trip. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Time for a closer look. So as you know, one of our big sponsors is the Home Depot and we get tools every quarter to try out and share with you. So these are two of those tools. This right here is what we're calling the ultimate picture hanging tool. <laughs> yes, and we're calling it that because it is the ultimate. It is definitely used for other things. We could have really used this when we made our wall last year. Um, mm -hmm. It's used, you could use it to install ceilings, floorings, all different kinds of things, but we're gonna use it to hang some pictures today and show you um, how this would work. This is definitely not a tool for everyone, but we wanted to make you aware of this out there so if you do have a need for it that you know that this is a possibility so it comes with what you see here it comes with this right here this stand and then the uh, the tool right here the laser level it actually does come off and it comes in it you can put it in this bag and then it comes with this right here this is if you need to make a line somewhere and you don't have an object to stop the the laser this uh, works right here this little Target, I guess mm -hmm. is what it's called. Uh, it also comes with instructions because, you know, always read your read manual. The manual. <laughs> and then we have one more tool that we've actually talked about before. This right here is the laser measure. And mm -hmm. we love this tool. We've used this for a lot of things, but we are going to show you um, a use that we just recently used it for today. And we want to thank the Home Depot for sponsoring this segment of our Workshop Wednesday. So we're going to head inside to my house and show you how these two tools work. Let's go. Let's go. We're here in my combined dining room, kitchen, and large living space. Now, a few months ago, well, probably more like nine or 10 months ago, I actually moved the furniture in this direction, but I didn't fix any of the artwork that's on the wall. So it is sorely needed to be reorganized and put back on the wall. So with this laser, that's one reason why I was excited by getting this laser level, because I thought, oh, I can get everything exactly where I want it. So let's get this turned on, move this switch, and it might beep if it's, if it's on level or I'm touching it, it will beep. Pull that back, it throws a horizontal line. As you can see, it goes all around the room on every single wall, as well as over the ceiling, horizontally and crosswise. So I can put pictures, I can level them up at the bottom. On this wall, I can come over here and get them on the same plane as here. And I can actually do that in every single, every single space. I can get them where, they, where they're level. Now, I wouldn't want to do them all the same level, but I'd like some for um, continuity, and then you can just kind of place them as they look, look the best. And now Steph's gonna show you another really cool laser tool. It's a laser measure, and what that is, is a really, really fancy Tape measure. So Steph, head on over to uh, my dining room and I'll bring the ladder to you. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Well, I'm gonna show you the laser measure and we actually just use this for, uh, we hung some new curtains here in Mom's dining room. That's where I am. And this came in handy. We didn't actually film this, so I'm just gonna show you what we did and how this came in handy. So I'm gonna put the ladder over here. And this particular curtain what we had to do is put a bracket on this side and a bracket on that side and then put the middle rod through. So because we were only putting the brackets up first, we couldn't make sure it was level any other way except using this, the laser measure. So what I did is I held up the bracket to where I kind of wanted it and then I figured out the distance. I just had the, the laser show me the distance and this was seven, seven feet, seven inches and then I took my, and then I attached it to the wall, and I took my ladder, and I came back over here, and I did the same thing, and once I figured out the correct distance from the floor that this was to make sure it was the same, 7-7, seven, seven, and made sure that the dot was on the ground. You can't see the dot over here, so I'm just going to show you. This is what the dot looks like, and wherever the dot is, that's the distance it's gonna show you on the levels. And then I hung this bracket. So this is a great way of knowing that you're level without having the middle section to put a uh, actual level on. So that is the laser measure and mom showed you the basically ultimate uh, level uh, and both are made by Bosch and we wanna thank again the Home Depot for sponsoring this segment. Now I'm gonna to head to my house because I have a fast DIY for you and this is one that uh, any pet lovers out there will like as well.
I am here at my house and as you as you probably know I got a dog uh, back in November and one of the things that you gotta deal with with a dog is cleaning up after them and all that entails so I all I will say is you know I have a dog so I use I use these little bags to clean up after her and then I where do I throw it away that's the big question so I actually got this thing called a pet genie and it works really well you basically put the you deposit the bag with wonderful stuff inside in here and then it collects the the bags that have been used in here and um, there is some in here I'm hoping not to be disgusting with this but uh, basically you pull this out once you've used them you pull this out you cut this off and then you can throw away the bag of used bags we'll say so um, this works really well I used to have one for my cat years ago and so that's why I got this one it works well but you do have to continue to buy the little uh, plastic bags for it and it does have a smell a little bit of a smell because that's some strong scented stuff inside um, and I do keep it out on my porch so it doesn't smell in my house or anything but I thought I wonder if there's a way to DIY this where I can have the same concept but I don't have to keep buying the bags and so um, I did just that so take a look I'm going to show you how I got started with the DIY pet genie all you need for this DIY is a five gallon plastic bucket a screw top lid which you can find in the same section as the bucket some velcro odor eliminators and two binder clips put a couple of odor eliminators in the bucket to start with then cut the velcro to size and attach two odor eliminators to the top of the lid to attach the screw top lid put it in place and secure it to the top of the bucket the top will now screw off. All right, and then I just took little binder clips and I hot glued them right here to the sides. And I put one there, one on the side. And now all I'm gonna do is take a plastic bag that I you know, got from a store and I'm going to attach them to the little binder clips. And there you have it, it's just like this. So when I need to deposit something, I just put it inside and then I screw on the top. Now I've actually been using this for a couple weeks and it works well. It works just, in my opinion, it works just as well as the Pet Genie. There is a tiny bit of smell just like there is with the Pet Genie. Um, but again, I wouldn't leave this inside the house any, anywhere. I, I wouldn't do that, but you can keep it outside because it is, um, it is plastic and I, I believe it's leak proof. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's even easier than the Pet Genie because when you're all done, when the bag is full, you take off the lid, you take these two off and you can throw it in. I normally double, triple bag it and then throw it into my normal trash and then I'm ready to go. So this has been a good solution for me and it was pretty inexpensive. I don't have to keep buying extra bags for it. So uh, hopefully, you, oh, I also wanted to let you know the little smell things, they can be recharged just by leaving them out in the sun for a couple hours. They recharge and then they can absorb more smells because this is something that needs to be, the smell needs to be absorbed as much as possible because as you know, it does not smell good. Uh, so we're going to head back to mom's house and continue on with the show. And we're back. <laughs> so now it is time for a field trip. trip. <laughs> for the last couple weeks, we've been really busy. I went mm -hmm. to a conference called VidCon a couple weeks ago in Anaheim, California. And then right after we went to a conference in Atlanta called Haven. <laughs> this is the third time we've been to Haven. Mm -hmm. We didn't go last year and the very first time we've went we found it very beneficial. We are brand new online content creators and we learned things we're doing right and things we should be doing a little bit better. So Haven is a conference for DIYers and designers and people for all different kinds of content creators. Well they do these classes and they have fun social events and dinners and things like that. But one of the things that people really look forward to when they go to Haven is the swag. So we got some swag that we're gonna share with you just to kind of get you an idea of some of the stuff because there's a lot of stuff that that you can do at Haven. And one of the things you wanna show right here. One of the things you do is uh, make and take. And this one was sponsored actually by Aero Fasteners. Um, those are the 
um, stapler people. And we made this. It's a way of uh, learning a new skill, using your tools as well. As well. So what they do at Haven is they introduce um, new, new products or they're just showing old products and, and giving you the skills to use them. And we also took a scroll saw class. So this actually is something we cut out using a scroll saw. Scroll saws you see used a lot in signs. People mm -hmm. make them a, make signs a lot. Um, so this was the first time we got to use it a scroll saw. It so was so much. Very cool. So much fun. Yes. Yeah, so much fun. And we, um, yeah, we liked it so much that we're like, okay, that might be, be a tool we need to try out in the future. So if we get at that, we will definitely show it with, share that tool with you guys. Uh, so that's a couple of the classes that mm -hmm. we took that was just some fun hands-on stuff. And then... Well, they also introduced new products. And one of the companies that did this really, really well was Hoover. And they're introducing a line of brand new battery operated uh, cleaning tools like vacuums and floor scrubbers and things like that. All, all use the same battery platform. But what they did, what was so cool is in our swag bag, everyone got a little puppy. A puppy. And Steph's actually look so much like Mac. Yes. But they also brought in real life puppies. I thought this is really great marketing. Yes. But it's also great products. It's um, if you're my age, you, you, you know Hoover, and this is, they have brought Hoover into 21st century using the battery platform. Yes, and also, uh, these have been around for a couple of years, but we have never noticed these, but these are picture hanging hooks, and you know what? They came at the right time, because we need to go back in there at some point and put all those pictures back on the wall. But uh, I learned about these, then go right into, dry, right into drywall without any tools, and I found a formula for how to hang pictures. And I'm not gonna give that away because we will give that, we will talk about that when we go back in and hang those pictures. We also learned about a new chalk paint from Bayer that you can get at Home Depot. So this is a spray paint. They also have a canned version of it. We also got these cool mugs from Bayer and they are Home Depot orange, which yes. we love. Yes. Nice, keep our drinks cool. And then Home Depot, they just take good care of us. They gave- Not just us. Yes. <laughs> Not just they, us. I mean us in as a whole. Yes. Everybody yes. at the conference got a monogrammed uh, towel. These are their new towel collection, uh, the Home Creators, Home Decorators collection of towels. I didn't know they had towels. Had no idea. So they have this was very cool. They monogrammed them all for people. So that was very yes, neat. That was very, it was a great way to introduce um, their new line. Yeah. I thought that was genius. Cool. Yeah, so we met a lot of cool mm -hmm. people, brands, took classes, it was a good time. And as I said before, I went to a conference called VidCon a couple weeks ago and I actually met someone named Chris Kelly who owns a company called Production Crate and they make motion graphics and sound effects and all different kinds of things for videos. So if you see some new kind of crazy effects mm -hmm. in our videos, that's a thank you to Production Crate. And if you need production, if you need graphics for your videos, I'll put a link to that below for you to check out. We just found out a couple weeks ago that uh, we have a wall control coupon code called MDP15 that you can use at checkout on wall control's website. And that is going to be continue to be active. So if you are looking to get wall control pegboard, which mm -hmm. is the we have behind here and we have in most of the rooms in our house, um, you can get 15% off. And that is an affiliate link. So that means that we do get a small, small percentage um, if you use that code. So you are, you're getting a discount, we're getting a little something everybody loves. And Everyone you're getting a wall it. control. And you're getting wall and control. And you're getting wall yes. control. So we do know some people bought it last time uh, when the code was active. So that's exciting. If you want to share what you bought, how you used it, let us know in the comments below. And also, if you ever want to learn a little bit more about me, I actually wrote a book. Um, and that is available on my website. Uh, advanced copies are on my website right now. And there'll be a link to that below. Now, if you want to see more Workshop Wednesdays, you can just click those videos on the screen and you'll see what you've missed in past episodes. And don't forget to subscribe.